What's going on Island Hoppers? Today we're coming to you from St. Thomas, one of three main Virgin Islands out here in the Caribbean. St. Thomas being the first island that we're going to review for a travel guide in this series. We're going to take you around to the beaches, try some food, and show you Charlotte Amali. Here we are on the tarmac out here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're going to the Virgin Islands. First stop, St. Thomas. This was a real quick island hop. The flight actually took 35 minutes in the air. Made it. And from here, we actually caught a taxi cab from the airport to our hotel, which was up on the mountain. Uh, this taxi ride actually cost us around $20 for two people in a van. And here we are actually at the hotel. It was $160 a night per room. We got two rooms. You can see the views of Charlotte Amali looking down. This is called the Ma Folie. All right guys, we are officially in Red Hook. This is actually where you catch the ferry to go to St. John, but we're just gonna show you around the area here, some of the bars, restaurants, and pubs. Red Hook definitely has a more relaxed uh, vibe than Charlotte and Molly. I actually preferred Red Hook, uh, just coming down here, uh, hanging out. Also, like I said, this is where you get the ferry to St. John. And what we'll do now is we'll just kind of show you some of the viewpoints that you get at the bars and the restaurants here in Red Hook. I got half and half blackened and fried with fries. So far I've tried them, delicious. You gotta come here and try these. Yeah, so we're here at Outriggers and we got some tarpon right here in the water. They gave us some shrimp to feed these big fish. If you haven't seen tarpon, they're like four feet long. Kids are gonna love this if you come out here, but let's see what they got. And my friend, the cameraman, actually took one of the binkies, the little dinghy, <laughs> out onto the water and just kind of cruise around. You see all the boats that are anchored off the shore of Red Hook here. It's a marina area, lots of catamarans and private yachts, sailboats. So here we are on the west side of the island. This is Brewer's Bay. It's a beautiful uh, blue color water right here and lots of boats. All right, so we're gonna go take a dip here in Brewer's Bay.
So here we are at the top of the mountain at the banana daiquiri. Let's go take a look inside. Yeah, so this is the top of the mountain. So you'll want to look that up when you get to St. Thomas if you want these viewpoints. But as the day was going on, we slowly but surely realized we're going to need a rental car. So we started to figure out how we were going to get one. All right, so here we are up above Mangus, another viewpoint, plenty of those on St. Thomas, but just look how beautiful that beach is. All right, so we rented this Jeep to go around the island. It's better than uh, you know taking a taxi everywhere. Uh, it was about $230 a day if you include the insurance. Now, where we're headed right now is Maggins Bay, and uh, so we're just kind of cruising it. We've made it to Maggins Bay. You can see it's a beautiful, uh, clear, warm water. Pelicans dive bombing, looking for fish out here. Let's go for a swim. All right, so we've come to Lindquist Beach. That's what you're looking at right here. Another one of those coves with uh, beautiful, clear water for snorkeling, swimming, relaxing. This one's not as busy as uh, Mangus Beach, uh, but it also does cost about $6 per person.
you guys come over here to Koki Beach, they actually have snorkeling and scuba rentals right here. All right, guys, we're on the northwest side of St. Thomas. This area here is known as Hall Bay. It's really uh, kind of remote, not too many people down here. It's more of a local spot, it appears. All right, guys, we came over to the west side of the island over here where Botany Bay is, but it was actually uh, closed. It's a preserve. The only way to get down there is you have to park your car and then walk down to the mermaid chair. Uh, they have beautiful homes down there, uh, but because of that, it's gated. We're not going to be able to go down there, but that's what the west side of the island has is that mermaid chair over on Little St. Thomas and that whole area down there. So here we are at Blackbeard's Castle. It's actually closed right now because of the hurricane and also the other situation going on in the world. But uh, when it is open, you can get some really good tours right out of Blackbeard's Castle. So here we are at 99 steps at the top of Blackbeard's Hill. We're actually gonna walk down here and uh, go into Charlotte Amalie. So St. Thomas was originally established as a Danish colony and then uh, somewhere in the 1800s, I don't know the exact date, but they actually transferred to the U.S. So uh, this whole area all was once Danish plantation owners. And this is actually what it looks like if you drive through the historic area of Charlotte Amalie. Uh, you can see this old town area, which is what we're driving through here.
My first 24 hours in St. Thomas have been a positive experience because I found it to be easy to get around. You know, you get a rental car or you need a taxi, easy to find. Also getting from island to island, doing island hopping. You know, I like doing that, right? And uh, you could go to St. John. They have a uh, ferry that goes once every hour and we are going to do that. They have a ferry that goes to St. Croix. Not as frequently, but you can get there as well. Now, there are smaller islands around here that you can charter boats to get to. So I found the accessibility uh, to the other islands to be a positive. So here we are up on the north part of the St. Thomas Island with a view looking towards the British Virgin Islands. Come over here to show you, by the way, the name of this Airbnb, if you wanted to stay at this exact one, from Kelly, the host, is called Casa Bonita. Look at this view. So down here in Yacht Harbor, which is where the cruise ships land, you can find many shops, restaurants, stores, a post office. So this is an area to come for main commerce in Charlotte Amalie. When you arrive on a cruise ship, there's a couple places you may arrive, but this is one of the actual uh, docks right here. You can see right next to Port of Sale. If you look right behind me, you see the Paradise Point St. Thomas Skyride. That actual tram will take you up to the top of that hill for a really nice view overlooking Charlotte Amali. I ended up getting two shirts here from Ocean Safari, so I look forward to wearing these. It's actually a local brand, and they have that 100% polyester UV protecting clothing. Something I would like to say about driving out here in the USVI, they do drive on the left side of the road. So keep that in mind. Whereas in the US, you drive on the right side of the road. Here, everyone is on the left side of the road. Uh, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes to get used to that. And every time I get back in the car, I kind of forget for a second that I need to be on the left side of the road just because of habit. So something you might want to keep in mind. 
Yeah, so we're returning the rental car, so we're washing it and we're filling it up uh, so that tomorrow morning we don't have to jump through hoops to do that.